Oh man, this sounds like something that you would see for the backstory for Dexter or even a Dama movie, man. This is a story that I want to be sensitive about because there's so many different ways you could look at it, but this is a child that's definitely in need of a lot of help. And since something like this seems like it was inevitable to happen. So basically what's going on is that on November 21st, a 10 year old boy was woken up by his mother, Kiana Mack. Now it's about 6 a.m. in the morning. She woke the boy up and he's upset that he was woke up early. And also the little boy wanted a VR virtual set, an Oculus and she didn't want to get it for him. So basically what happened from that point, the mother, Kiana, was downstairs doing laundry. The little boy went into her room, got that fire. I'm sorry that I gotta use AAVE, but I gotta speak this way for the algorithm. So he got the fire out her room, came inside of the laundry room and struck his mother down with the fire. Moments later, he went and woke up his older sister and told her what he did to his mother. The sister called law enforcement and they came and just canvassed the scene. And this all happened in Milwaukee on November 21st at around 7 a.m. And the police who identified Kiana Mann, which is the mother with a wound to her head. And of course, she passed away due to her injuries. Now the boy was interviewed and he said he was twirling the fire around his finger and it accidentally went off. And that's when he woke his sister up who then found the mother then called 911 but due to his age they allowed the boy to remain with his family but the next day the family called the police department with some serious concerns now they saying that little man has had some rage issues all his life and has like five different imaginary people that talk to him and even the therapist previously gave the boy a concerning diagnosis it led to the point that the mother had to place cameras inside the home to watch him but two weeks prior to the incident, someone unplugged those cameras. Now the sister said that she learned the morning after this incident, the boy logged onto their mother's Amazon account and ordered an Oculus virtual reality headset. So the thing he was upset about, he took his mama out. And then the next morning, he went and used the OG account to go ahead and order the headset. There's something wrong with little man, dog. Now the complaint says a family member also alleged that the boy would pick up their puppy by the tail and swing the puppy around until it whined and howled in pain and this was around when the little man was like four years old. And an aunt told the detectives that the little man had no remorse following the things that he did to his mother. Now they said the little man told the auntie that he actually was aiming the fire at his mom. And then he apologized to his aunt for doing what he did to his mom and then he asked if his Amazon package had arrived, good God, man, <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, this sounds like I'm reading the beginning of a movie about someone who grew up to be a very dangerous person. This is crazy. Now, in a second interview with detectives, the boy allegedly admitted that he retrieved the fire because he was mad at her for waking him up early and not letting him get something on Amazon. He told detectives that his mom walked in front of him when he tried to hit the wall to scare her. And they also said that he admitted to getting his mother's keys for the fire lockbox the night before. Now, as of now, little man has been charged with first degree reckless homicide. And if convicted, he faces a maximum of 60 years in prison. And um, he has this initial appearance in court on Friday and a cash bond of $50,000 was set. And he will appear in court for a status hearing on December 7th. This is a wild situation. Once again, I had to check several sources to see if this is true. And yeah, this is this is real. This is real. But in this situation, I don't think it was anything the mother could do. I think this was just a troubled young man. A troubled little boy. And that's just the cards that she was dealt. I don't know anything about a father being involved. I don't know if a father being involved would have changed the situation or him not being involved caused the situation. I don't know. There's so many different things to speculate about, but the most important thing to focus on rather than just speculate is understanding that mental illness is real and you have to do your best to watch any possible signs that you have in your children and take it very very seriously because you never know who they may hurt 
In this situation, sadly, it was his own mother. In his other situations, it turned out to be a lot of other people's children, you know, many other people's children. So you see some things, speak on them things, man. It's a sad situation. Rest in peace to Keanu, man. It's your boy Stacy. I'm out.